everyone, I'm Master Mark, and it's my pleasure to welcome you back to RimWorld. Now, in the last episode, we set up our little base here, and we got some rice. Things, all in all, are going all right for us. Lagoo is out there hunting some stuff. Kimmy is getting healed. Kimmy is a doctor who we picked up out of an escape pod. Hopefully, she'll join us. That way, we can have an actual doctor. And Kimmy, unfortunately, has an infection. That's not good. Um, we don't have any medicine. If we did, I would give it to her. But we're just going to have to do our best with whatever treatment we have. And Lagua, I know... Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. You are no longer needed as a doctor. Hornet has got this covered, I think. Oh, thank gosh. We're finally getting some progress done. How many meals are we making right now? We're making... Let's make five simple meals. And then we'll work on making some meat meals. How long do these corpses last? Two days, two days. Yeah, we're not in a rush. Let's expand the stockpile for rice. All right. Cargo pods. All right, what they got? Ooh, raccoon meat. The game's being nice to us. I think that they're gonna... The game's being nice to nice to us for right now. Oh. And Kimmy has decided to leave rather than to join us. You know what, Kimmy? That's fine. It's not like we needed you or anything. It's not like we're kind of short-handed, you know? It's not like we needed more people to replace all those who have died. You know what? In all fairness, if I was in Kimmy's position and I found out that, like, half the group died of starvation, I wouldn't join. Oh my god, another escape pod. Pessimist, pyromaniac. Five in shooting, eleven in medicine. All right, boy, we're gonna we're gonna rescue him now. <laughs> Maybe he'll join us. Maybe he'll want to join us. All right, we're gonna get like a designated escape pod bed. Oh my god, another person. Rescue him. Bring him inside. Oh my gosh, we got so many people. So many people just keep on... It's, I don't know where we are. Maybe we're in like the Bermuda, Bermuda, Bermuda Triangle or something. And everybody's just crashing here for whatever reason. But geez, oh Pete's, we're getting so many people here. Two days, two days. We're just going to have to hope that Hornet actually has a chance to actually cook. Instead of spending our whole time just rescuing people. Hear that, Hornet? I need you to cook. In fact, I'm going to do a, go ahead and do something. I'm going to say... Here, here are your joy times. Everything that is not joy, this is now work time. You guys, you're all gonna work from this time to this time. Are we understood? I hope we are. This should keep all, keep keep people actually working instead of messing around. And hey, Bus decided to join us. That's great. Hopefully, he'll be able to get some support some actual clothes on. Well, he's got a cowboy hat. Other than that, he's kind of naked, but hey, it's clothes. He's eating raw rice, which nobody particularly likes, but hey, rice is food. Hmm. Let's also, let's move pemmican on top of that, on top of raw meals. And let's do some butchering now. Let's butcher some of this stuff. Get some food going. All right, bus. You're on the same schedule as everyone else. We have unrestricted joy, joy there, and then the rest is work. Work, 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 work. What am I going to have you do? What am I going to have you do? You're now our number one doctor. Though Hornet will take care of you when you are not capable. Actually, never mind. You're going to self tend. I'm going to have you on patient there. That 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 that. We don't have any animals for you to handle, so that's off. Hunting, that's off. Growing is you now number one. James, I'm gonna take you off growing. That's now his job. You're gonna be doing like hauling and stuff. Smithing, no. Mining, no. You know what, this'll be like your four. You can haul and clean if you don't have anything better to do. Which I guess he doesn't. Alright, zone. Is this part of our home zone? It appears it is. Alright, now that we have a door, looks like we're finally going to get some roofs and stuff. Good, 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 good. 
And Magua is finally mining out some stuff, which we really needed. Really needed to get some mine going. We're gonna need to get like a duster or something for what's his name? Bus. Bus is going crazy and is starting some fires. But you know what? That's fine. Just just let him do him. You do you, bus. You do you. As long as you're far away from like our rice field, just you do you. Do whatever makes you happy, man. Doesn't bother me. Just do what you gotta do to stay sane. Well, reasonably sane and sane anyways. You do you. I don't think there's that much that can catch fire out in the middle of the desert. But you know what, boss? Go ahead and surprise me. Oh yeah, there's still these dead people out here. You know what? It's fine. Just leave that corpse. Doesn't bother me. Alright, now we've got some beds. I'm gonna deconstruct those beds. And then they can actually start sleeping them. This one is gonna be Legua's. This one is gonna be James. And the rest of them will come as they go. Oh, I thought we froze there for a second. What's up to, James? Visiting a grave? That's fine. Visit the grave. Let's actually expand our home area a bit. This area here is now our home area. There we are. That's our general home area. Thankfully, we've got a bed now. Okay, now he's going crazy. Guys, guys, guys. Extinguish fires. He's going crazy inside of our base. Stop him from getting all of our stuff on fire. Please take get out, get rid of the fires, please. Bus, please stop this. I'm gonna keep Lagua up fixing all this stuff while he goes nuts. Bus, please stop. What what is making you go crazy? Tired. Then go to bed. Jesus, bus, go to bed. Jeez, oh Pete's man. You don't have to do that. You can just go to sleep. Just go to sleep if you're tired. You don't have to light everything on fire. Jesus, man. Don't be like that. Oh, an ostrich is self-tamed, huh? Great. You know what? Maybe we can get some eggs out of this. This time, I'm not going to immediately ex <laughs> immediately slaughter it, because maybe we can get some nice eggs. Or something. I don't know. Go ahead and get that steel wall up so we can get, like, you know... Some stuff over top of this. How is that duster? 50%. Bus, you're gonna go and wear that duster. Put that duster on. There. That should make you a little better in the heat. Yep, that raised your heat sensitivity by about 7 degrees. You're good. <laughs> We're gonna create an... You know what? Let's not make an animal area. It's fine. The animal can do whatever it wants. Besides, these rice plants, we got we got so much rice it doesn't matter. Iguana self-tamed. Alright, cool. Iguanas is this the iguana? No, it's not. Where's this other iguana? Why do we have so many animals? I don't know. You know what? It's fine. They both produce eggs, so as far as I'm cool I am with it, that's cool. Also, herbalist. You're back on wardening. I mean animal handling. Now, let's create an animal area. Where are our zone thing? Animal area one? This is gonna be animal area one. Out here. There we are. And in that animal area, we're gonna have one little area where we put all of our rice. Well, not all of it, but enough rice to where it will keep them fed. Critical. So go ahead and like put some rice there. This is now, instead of being critical, this is going to be important. Now, someone please move some rice over there to those animals. So that way they don't eat our proper stuff. Also, get rid of that male iguana before it eats our, uh, eats our rice. Oh, my head hurts. I don't know why. Alright, get everything back to the animal area one. Wonder what, uh, Bus is gonna do with these animals. Can he, like, uh take their eggs? Is that like an order he can do? Can he do that? Operations. Those are all euthanized. Nope. I don't think he can do anything with it. Oh, that's a storm. That's not good. That's gonna burn some stuff down. That's not good. 
Also, bus, you get you got a bed now. You don't have to sit on the ground. You're gonna deconstruct those little little things there. You too, Hornet. Ugh. That lightning is giving me a little bit of a headache. Head hurts. Don't know why, just kinda does. I don't know, maybe it's a stressful day, maybe it's caffeine withdrawal. I don't know why, but my head hurts. <laughs> I don't know. This hasn't been a long session. This I've only in this session I've only done like two episodes so far. This is the third episode. I don't know why I'd be getting a headache this early in a session. I don't know why. But you know what? It's happening. And I'm gonna just gonna pretend that it's not. I'm gonna power through. I'm gonna keep doing this episode. We're not done yet, kiddos. If this is this is real headache hours. Smash that like button. Please. I don't know. I'm trying to think of clever jokes here. No. Re it's real Let's Player hours. That's what it is. Real Let's Player hours. If, if you're up, smash that subscribe button. That's what's going on right now. That's the dealio. Smash that subscribe button. Ugh. Oh, man. Instagram memes. Uh, meat is unfortunately rotting away, but that was because that was more because of our purge of those camels than anything. Some rare thrombos are apparently coming in here, but I'm hoping it'll just leave us alone because we can't fight that thing. Oh look, more more camels. Oh no, I hit the hunt button. They're gonna they're gonna kill all those camels too, and the meat's gonna go bad. Oh no! Take him down, Lagua. Take them all down. This is an extinction event for the dr camels in this general area. This is an extinction event. Yeah, that's right, Hornet. You grab that one. Lagua, take it down. Take it down. Takes an awful lot of shots to take one down. Hm. Whatever. Bus, what are you up to right now? Cleaning dirt. That's alright. Now he's gonna eat himself a simple meal. You can probably cook simple five simple meals pretty quickly. Don't probably need to focus on pemmican like that. Hey, my cat's downstairs. Usually my cat is upstairs sleeping while I'm recording. But now it's down here and it's just kind of staring at me. It's kind of weird. It's just staring at me. I don't know why. Maybe it likes the sound of my voice? Man, I'm out of it. I'm out of it right now. This headache is drawing me out of the game. But hey, at least our people are sleeping now. Man, they all have different kinds of hats. They all have like a different hat. <laughs> it's like, it's like they're the Power Rangers of hats. Other than the hats, they all look the same. It's just like, light blue Power Ranger. Green Power Ranger. Whatever. Man, my commentary sucks for this episode. I'm so out of it. It's crazy. It's crazy how out of it I am. It's like I'm not even in the room. I'm in space or something. But speaking of space, a whole lot of space in this map. A whole lot of empty space and blood all over the place. We need another good rain. After another good rain on this map, that'll clean up all the blood and I won't have to worry about cleaning it myself. But considering that this is a desert, there's probably not going to be much rain. And here's that little area that that firebomb just kind of blew up. There it is, all covered in r soot and rubble. I'm just going to leave that there. No reason to poke our head in, in where we're not wanted. Alright, let's get some more mining done. Get that area mined out. Make some more stuff out of steel or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of chilling out. Taking it easy. While our people do all the hard work, like growing rice and cooking. Also, you know what? Actually, never mind. Rice is fine. We don't need to grow potatoes. I I was that I was thinking maybe we'd switch to potatoes so that way it uses less uh, time per person. But really, it's not that big of a deal. Also, this is yeah you know, yeah this is normal stockpile. This will be the preferred stockpile. Please don't keep anything too valuable in there. Hmm. 
What are these lances anyways? I've never used any of them in my real playthroughs, and I don't think I've ever found them. What's your deal, Psychic Insanity Lance? One use artifact that drives any character into a berserk state from any distance, even through walls. Cool. What's this thing's deal? One use that directs psychic disturbances towards one character, dropping them in state of psychic shock for some times. Large risk of brain damage. Oh, those are cool. I can use those to take out a couple raiders. Cat's still staring at me. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright. I suppose... Hey, that was a quick flash storm. Alright, now let's chop some wood. Go out there, chop some more cactuses down. We need wood to cook. We need wood to get some cooking done. We've got 171 pemmican. That's pretty decent. Hmm. We don't have much wood here. That's really a bummer. That's gonna make... That's gonna mean we can't really cook much in the future. Because we don't have electricity, so we're not gonna be able to cook. That's not great. We may have to just carry raw rice with us. And you know what? I think carrying raw rice with us, that actually... You know what? It w they wouldn't be happy about it, but they'd probably survive. Hmm. It'd be a seven... It's a seven-day trek from our current area to the area base. But I don't want to get that close to that alien... Hmm. Only problem is there's a couple of uh, unfriendly tribes and stuff in the way. So if possible, I'd prefer to like cut through here to avoid dealing with those unfriendly guys. And then through here. And then maybe up through here. And then down here. So yeah, maybe like a 10 day trek. It'd probably only take us like eight days to get to the Arab shrub land. And there we should at least be able to find like some shrubs or something to cut up. And get us some food. Rice practically lasts forever. This do most of the vegetables in this game. Mm. But yeah, maybe we'll just do uh, a rice march. Maybe that's what we'll do. Tell me in the comments if you think that's kind of like cheaty. Because that feels kind of dirty to me, considering we've done these pemmican marches in the past. Do not... You know what? Actually, I don't know. The pemmican was a necessity because we had a lot of meat and basically no vegetables. Whereas here, we have a lot of vegetables and basically no meat. I suppose it depends on your limiting factor. Back in, like, the tundra and stuff, vegetables were the limiting factor. You could get meat easy, but meat would spoil so quick that it wasn't... It was just not worth it traveling on meat. Oh no. Oh no. Bus is going crazy again. Bus, where are you? Bus, where are you at? Oh no, he's lighting he's lighting the rice field on fire. Get, get out of the rice fields. Stop it. Stop trying to burn the rice fields. Filthy Frank hangs out there. And we can't we can't do that. You'll scare away the internet celebrity. Stop it. Stop that now. While we're at it, why don't we get some concrete in this bunker? So that way it doesn't actually, like, burn inside. But yeah, knock it off with the fire starting bus. I, I really don't like it. Stop it! It's bus, stop it! Call, stop it! Stop laying things on fire! Knock it off! Bus, stop it! Stop laying things on fire! Jeez, oh, Pete's! Bus, if you keep... Bus, I know what you're- I know why you're named Bus. Cause you're gonna get thrown under one if you keep it up with this throwing- Oh, so- jeez, oh, peace. What the heck is even going on? What is this madness? Alright, Bus, you done? You are. Thank you. Jeez, oh, peace. Bus, you're driving us nuts. And our- oh, James has fallen over due to extreme exhaustion. Can somebody grab him? No, he's still freaking out. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. He can keep on freaking out through his thing. Oh yeah, bus, I can get you a gun. How good is this rifle here? It's, it's near breaking point, but still has a 50% shot chance. You know what, bus? I'm gonna give you the machine gun. That's what I'll have you carry. It's probably, considering your burst size, it's probably just as good as the bolt-action rifle. 
Oh, starvation. James is starving because he's having a mental break. That's great. That's just what I want to hear. James, please get it together. Extreme break risk. James is once again at risk for a break. And Lagua is also at risk for a break again. Lagua, what's your problem? Worn out apparel, dead man's duster, feeling bad, decent barrack, hungry, my father Lalan died. I feel ya. Clear forest, clear forest, anything. You don't have to wear it anymore, but I encourage you to do so, otherwise you'll be in trouble. We don't have much armor, so armor is definitely a bad thing that we don't have. But it looks like things are back and fine now. Well, fine-ish. We're not on the... <laughs> we are no longer have a very real sense of dread that we may be near death. Now let's hunt a few animals. Hunt any animals you see around here. We need some food. Well, we need some meat for pemmican. I suppose after another rice crop, we might just want to pick up and leave with all this rice. You know what, I think two more rice crops, and we'll have enough just raw rice to make the track. How much raw rice do we have right now? Six ninety-five. We could just do a rice march, you know? Grab all of our rice and run off with it. Probably wouldn't like it much, but we could do it. We could very much do it. Hmm. I'll have to keep that in mind. I have to keep that in mind. You know what else you have to keep in mind while playing this game? You gotta keep in mind a way to make a segue to tell the audience how to end an episode. Yep, Ugh, that that is definitely one of the worst segues I've made so far. It's still not as bad as the one where I turned it into a poem. But I guess this is the segue for the end. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I sure did. I hope you guys enjoy this series as well. Let me let you know that the likes are how you tell me. The likes and dislikes are how you tell me whether you like a series or you don't like it. So if you like this fear series, please hit the like button so that way I know that. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have anything you'd like to say, feel free to say it in the comments. All in all, thank you very much for watching. I enjoy your viewership. I'll see you next time on RimWorld. Bye! Thank you.